Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be focusing our attention on Vundalist for Web, uh, basing around uh, their recent activity in the news uh, with Microsoft. Um, I figured this would be a good time to go touch more uh, onto what the web version offers on Vundalist because, you know, the iPhone app, there's Android app, there's even Kindle app if you want, um, and Microsoft Phone app too. Um, so it's more focusing on what this does above any of the else and also trying to justify the web version being around, uh, which I definitely think. I think web version and web apps do have uh, a world, uh, especially I'm a Chromebook user. Um, I mean, they have a they have a Chromebook app, uh, but I feel better using it natively inside the browser. So let's get stuck in. So as we see up here, we've got a centralized column, uh, probably the one you enter every single day, and the one is most used by um, kind of newbie Wunderlist people. Uh, maybe the pros kind of you know pull out their uh, a lot more of their lists down the side. But inbox is a place where you dump all of your tasks and all the information um, as you go across your day. So you know I've put a few up here. Um, and the, you know they're they're very uh, simple to add. You just add them at the top here. So I'm just going to put a tweet to uh, Bob. I don't know who Bob is, and it will go straight down at the bottom, which is fantastic. You can also add a a due date up here, and also star it. So that's the top right hand corner. You have the ability to add a little more context, but we'll come back to context near the end of the episode. So. The next one down is starred, and starred is basically where you put your you you you've highlighted your most important tasks throughout all of your lists, whether it's inbox or you know movies to watch, um, and it highlights them in a really nice way. So it's almost like if you've got Google Inbox, it's like pinning um, your tasks to a set um, to basically a set wall, uh, and I really like that. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, I think that differentiates a lot from the others. Um, and I think that's something that's exciting. Going down next, we've got today, and that's just uh, taking all the tasks that are either overdue, which are a few of these are, um, and putting them all in the center, and then also uh, taking stuff from today. So overdue and today, all in this one inbox, all from different lists, where you can start, you know, whether you, know, you might be using this at work, and you can just go through all your lists for that day. The next concept kind of applies to the week. Obviously, you get to see all your week tasks here. You know, what's due today, what's due tomorrow. And I guess with such a large screen or or a bigger review, you can literally see all the way through. Um, and that's quite nice to have because um, like I like using that with uh, Todoist where I can see the entire uh, next seven days. That's really exciting. So they, they're given the same feel to that. Next one, I can choose uh, different I could create these different uh, list boxes, folders. Um, and then here I've got, I've just been testing out this feature. It's basically uh, the folder for lists. So I can put, so for example, if these two correlated to each other, if these were movies to watch and, and, and uh, shows to go and see, I could put them in entertainment folder. Um, and that's really useful because it's almost like in the same way to do is uses, um, their stack feature and in the same way other companies do similar things uh, that's almost like a organization and, and again I, i'd definitely recommend you having um if if you literally were able to do this um having a personal one and then putting all you know you could put your family down there your friends uh, and then build a professional one too i think that's really beneficial when it comes to organizing your to-do list uh, your vendor list your swipes your clear all those kind of applications, really, really beneficial. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, the ability to go and invite people to specific tasks. So let's jump in and let's go to tweet to Bob. Um, what you can do is you can simply go up here and uh, I think I went the wrong way. My apologies. Um, so you can go into this task. And you can, I it did it earlier. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not doing it. Um, okay, let's just skip that and come back to it in a bit. Um, I, I will do another uh, segment on that. But this is the ability to go a little deeper on that specific task. 
So what you can do when you click into a task on the web is you can edit its uh, context. So for example, I'm just going to change the date to tomorrow for this one, save it. You can also just down here, just hit it and you can actually add it on repeat. So repeat every free, uh, every week and that will happen every week on that day and it'll pop up again. So if I take this off, which it makes a really cool sound, it will come back up and have a new J. I really like that. Let's just tick a few off. I think Swipes does this as well, but uh, that they're both really cool sounds. And then let's say I wanted to remind my remind, that went Australian and remind myself at seven a.m. tomorrow. I could just literally save it there. From here, I can also add subtasks. So you know, hello uh, today, and that helps. I mean, I really like the idea of subtasks or breaking your task down into a really uh, definitive thing. Like, e.g. Um, I mean, these are really general because I'm using these as a demonstration, but on my actual to do task list, I'm really specific. I'm like, list three things. And it's always the next action because, you know, it helps you complete stuff faster. Adding more notes here as well. You know, I don't know whether you could go into your Evernote and copy over, like copy over a huge folder, a uh, huge file, and then be able to see it down here. You've got the ability to talk on audio, um, and I'll show you how that works in a sec add stuff from Dropbox and folders, and then also comment down here and delete that item. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's very useful um, to have some sort of uh, depth inside a task. You can also use the ability to, um, so on web, on mobile, you can't do this very well, but when you're on web, you can actually put hashtags next to specific tasks. Then once you click into that hashtag, you can break down every task that has that hashtag, and I will explain the benefit of this. So for example, if I selected run 10 kilometers, I could put next to it, um, if it's going to allow me to, yeah, hashtag uh, 10 minutes, right? Then I'm going to do this because this is going to take 10 minutes too. So I'm not sure whether you can see this just yet. What I'm doing is if I click into 10 minutes, I can see all the tasks I can complete in 10 minutes. Why is that beneficial? Because if I was walking down the road and I had my phone on me or I had, um, you know, my, my laptop or I was at work and I was like, I have 10 minutes or I have my smartphone or I have 20 minutes, then you can click in and you can see all the tasks you can complete with those specific parameters, which is so awesome uh, and so perfect. So that's the kind of benefit and value that that kind of uh, thing offers. Next thing is with each task, you have the ability to go a bit deeper. You can email a selected item. You can email a list of items. You can print and multi-delete some, some tasks, which are pretty cool. And I just wanted to show you, um, not trying to chop and change stuff. If you, oh, there we go. See, look, that's pretty cool. Um, I've just got a reminder for Mad, Mad Max. I literally timed that perfectly, clearly. Um, let's say let's say I go into Mad Max. That's a really nice feature. That's a really soft feature. It's also got the ability to add uh, reminders through voice as well. Um, so I just tap into this. It takes me to a sub thing. So if I made a podcast, apparently this is good. I need to be seeing this. So that's, that's my little note. List. That's my little note on Mad Max. Um, but you know, you could have you know your lecture slides. Um, no, no, your lecture, your lecture talking. It could be anything else like that. It could be a meeting notes. But in general, it's just for you to take away and record. So this is a little kind of touchy review on stuff. Um, I think they do. I, I just wanted to try and find out the ability to do this because I had it while I was pre-testing stuff. Uh, and it disappeared. But if it if it doesn't happen, if I can't find it, um, then not to fret, not to threat, because I will cover it on Twitter. Um, but anyway, guys, there is a Chrome extension that comes alongside it. Uh, I'm not sure whether you're seeing this, but you have the ability to add. Um, you add. Oh, look, that's awesome as well. It just reminds me too that I need to do it. Um, so it's kind of continually nagging me. But it has the ability to add vendor list. So for example. Um, if you were on your web and just browsing around and you wanted to be able to add a task, you know, whether it's an Amazon book here, a good example, and you wanted to buy it for later, you know, you can just quickly tag it and it'll get straight in. Uh, or even, you know, watch film type type uh, approach to actually doing tasks. And you can do, you have a lot of functionality right there. Um, so that is really cool and useful. So just go back to this. Um, up here, you've got a notification. 
that is the reminder. I'm going to tick that off. Um, and it's just popped up because it's a recurring reminder. It's also just popped on my phone, which is really cool. Um, and I was just about to mention that you can publish stuff. Um, so you can publish your entire lists. Uh, you're about to publish inbox. Uh, so it's a public URL. People can add to that list, uh, which is really cool. That's everything I wanted to do today. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it gave you a bit more value in whether you're choosing the list for web or some tips and tricks. I think using tags are pretty sick, uh, pretty sweet, pretty sick. Um, and I think using re recurring reminders, subtasks, uh, the ability to add audio notes, I think they're really cool features and publishing things as well. I think that has a lot of value. So thank you everyone, everyone for watching this one. Please do subscribe. Tweet me at Francesco D A L E S, and that's it. And uh, that's the whole Twitter name. Uh, but thanks very much, and make sure to have a productive week.